I've seen a number in the spirit. <laughs> Wherever they will carry it. I've seen a number in the spirit. In no particular order, this number is like the account number of a person. Alright? In no particular order. These digits are in your account number. Zero. One. One. And then three. In no particular order. But these four digits are in your account number. Where are you called? I have a word for you. Who is that? Huh? There's zero. There's one. There's one. There's three. Come. Is there a second three? Eh? Which one has a second three? Has a second three? Second Two, three, two. Zero. Double three. Huh? Yes, call yes. yes, it. Zero, one. Uh -huh. Three, one. Uh -huh. Three, seven. Come, at the one. Come. The crowers are the seeds. The crowers are the seeds. The crowers are the seeds. God has chosen you for favor. God has chosen you for favor. Amen. Are you hearing me, Mama? Have I done this to you before? No. God has chosen you for favor. Amen. If I'm a false prophet now, I will ask for seed based on what I've seen. Are you saying that having the gift does not make you genuine? Because I see in the Spirit. I see a shift happen next year. Amen. And this shift will find you promoted. Amen. Whether it's in your office or organization, whether it is in another organization, or whether they will remove you and put you in charge of a project, which you know is not normal. There's a shift that is going to happen because I saw your salary increasing. Amen. And I'm asking the Lord, why would this increase or how would this increase happen? And God is saying, there's a shift that is going to happen. But then I see God opening another door again. And this door existed in your past. It's like it's either you were doing it or you wanted to do it, but you stopped. What I'm talking about has to do with business and entrepreneurship. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's either you did it before and stopped, or you wanted to, but you couldn't. Now God is saying next year, there is a grace coming, and that door is opening. Amen. Because you will do two things at the time. Amen. And your season for millions have come. Amen. Father, we release that grace. As you showed me our account details, Lord, I ask that you visit her financially. Amen. May God change your story. Amen. May God change your story. Amen. May God lift you in a way that will dumbfound those around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, don't be scared of death or being cut off when these things begin to happen. Because my hand will preserve you. For there is yet something you will do for me in my kingdom that I'm about to show you and that I am showing you, says the Spirit of the Lord. I see a lot of things happening. I see your passport flying around your head. That means that you are traveling again. Please, this is a question. What I'm seeing is color green. Are you hearing me? What I'm seeing is color green. What's the color of your passport? The color is green. Is it just a West African thing or is it an international passport? It's an international passport, right? Thank you, Father. Do you have the passport here? Ah. I wish you had it here. I wanted to check because I saw numbers. I wanted to call the number so we sure if that was, was on the passport. Are you hearing me? There's a number 
You know, when you open a passport, the first place, there's a picture here. Yeah. Then there's a number, I think, around where the picture is. There are numbers, it is tight. It's, uh, uh. I don't know if you know those numbers, but I've seen seven. I've seen six. Yes. I've seen one. Yeah. I've seen three. Yeah. And those are part of the, the, the numbers there. Yeah. How many digits are there? Twelve. There are about twelve or so. I just saw these numbers proceeding. Just to be sure that that is your passport. God is saying another door is opening. Amen. Get ready to travel often. Amen. Father, we release the grace for this. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will take care of the children when you are traveling. A new beginning for you. A new season. And what your husband started and couldn't complete, you will complete it. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus.